Good day, everybody. Rob here at WesternPacificWeather.com. It is currently the 13th of January, 2011, right around 01 Zulu for those of you worldwide here. Very active southern hemisphere today and also a semi-active uh, northern hemisphere out in the uh, western Pacific. So uh, if you look down on the bottom, I'm listing the uh, times of where I'm talking about these specific events, starting with Tropical Cyclone Vania, which you can see on the uh, page right here. Also farther out towards the west here, we're also talking about Tropical Cyclone Vince. And uh, here in the northwestern Pacific, a gale warning out in the uh, Philippines. So those specific times are going to be listed at the bottom right here. So uh, first we're going to talk about actually uh, Tropical Cyclone Vania located just northeast of New Caledonia here. Uh, moving away from Port Vila, some uh, moderate da or actually minor damage being reported out of there right now. Just basically some damage to some of the crops there. Basically the banana crop and some of the uh, sugar crops right in there. But I think the big story is the fact that the storm has continued to uh, linger up in these warmer waters here. The steering float is very weak. I'll actually show you the streamline analysis here in just a minute but as you can see on this uh, satellite picture right here outflow along the northern periphery is really being enhanced by an upper level trough up in this region and also mid latitude trough farther towards the south is really giving this banding uh, farther just uh, south of New Caledonia here out in this region so overall though that's giving a lot of inflow and outflow along the uh, exhaust along the uh, upper levels of the storm here mm. and increasing the intensity of the storm all the way up to about 60 gusting up to 75 knots right now and a uh, forecast in max as it just goes along the uh, southern tip of New Caledonia here. A lot of the uh, agencies really agreeing on this is about 80 gusting up to 100 knots. So looking at a, a pretty moderate uh, intensity tropical cyclone rating here, definitely above the uh, typhoon equivalent of a storm. New Caledonia does not get hit by a uh, cyclones uh, that often it's not unheard of here but not that often and one thing I do want to note though is as you notice the storm going farther towards the south is going to be going east of Nomea the most populated city in this region here and that's going to bring some on flow storm surge in that region and another thing I do want to note, and a lot of people are actually picking up on this, is the system is very, very broad. Um, as most cyclones, a lot of the winds are very tight, organized around the center. Well, with this one, uh, you can see this higher convection all the way out towards this region here, uh, pretty much away from the center. And this is where those strongest winds are right now. Sort of a looking extra tropical, but not really, because it is gained as still as a warm pour low here. A lot of the uh, warmer temperatures are in the middle from the bottom to the surface right in here. But basically, though, this is what this is telling me is you're going to start seeing those tropical storm force winds farther away from the center and over New Caledonia earlier than you would anticipate here. Actually some OBS out of New Caledonia showing that TS winds already out or at least near it uh, out of Noumea showing about 33 knots. 34 knots is a tropical storm force uh, sustained winds that you would see but 33 knots out of Noumea right now. Some ship OBS farther out towards the uh, west here about 25 knots and 27 knots even farther out towards the east here. So what it's showing me is that the uh, tropical storm force winds are extending far out from the core right in here you got these winds farther out towards the uh, southwest here but enough with the uh, now casting on this one I'm sure everybody's curious where is this gonna go in the long run is it gonna actually head out towards Queensland where that flooding is really devastating the region well right now definitely not looking like that heavy anticyclonic circulation over here basically an upper level ridge kind of lingering just over New South Wales right in this region and this is gonna keep that system farther out towards the east here and it's gonna actually drift towards the uh, southeast in this little weak area right in here uh, between this uh, upper level trough right in this region and that anticyclonic circulation farther out towards the uh, east here and this is where it's going to go right into this region right in here this is just a streamline analysis I like using these streamline analysis if you ever never watched my updates with the uh, tropical season up in the north because it really if you if you know how to read these right it really tells you exactly what's going on and this is actually going to go towards the uh, southeast here get wrapped up in the uh, westerlies right in here and basically looks like it's going to clip uh, the northern island of New, New Zealand right in here right around Auckland might see some outer rain bands as this system turns extra tropical but not going to be seeing more of a tropical cyclone out of this but that's really where it looks like it's going to go right now and as we look at the GTWC warning this is what they are showing basically the system clipping the southern tip of New Caledonia and drifting off towards the uh, southeast here so system has made its weight track a little bit farther towards the southeast than yesterday's update though as we kind of noted out pointed out before these new warnings came out that it is lingering long around here a little bit longer than originally anticipated and that's why that system is tracking farther towards the east here. Oh.
So Kingston has to closely watch this system in the long run as this system will track towards the uh, southeast over that island. But right now we are watching Nomei and how this system starts to track towards the southwest, towards that um, that island right now, New Caledonia. And the potential for some um, storm surge along Nomei is actually pretty high right now as this system is going to be tracking just off towards the southeast of the island right in this region. And that's going to bring some uh, clockwise winds and basically a wraparound on shore over Numea, just like that. So some uh, very line coastal areas right in here, especially some of the more uh, resort areas right up on the shore. And actually right in downtown Numea, there's uh, plenty of uh, basically some housing right in there just on shore that uh, could have the potential for some storm surge flooding right up in there. So one thing definitely do want to mention and uh, have to watch very closely as this system is going to be tracking just off towards the southeast of that populated city. And also do want to note with the uh, very wide range of this tropical storm force winds, basically entire island looks like they're going to see those winds basically all the way up here to down here. And that typhoon equivalent strength wind is going to be very, very uh, centralized right around Nomea actually if this system does continue on its track right now. So uh, with the winds farther out from the core, I would expect the entire city to see those typhoon or those winds above 64 knots right here. So just another thing to note, looks like a pretty intense storm at landfall right now. And last on 05P here, basically, uh, just want to show the webcam out of Numea right now. Are showing some pretty much strong winds right in there. You kind of see the leaning of these trees right in here, even though this is a still photo. You still can see that wave action out here just along the uh, reef. And uh, basically, these uh, seas kind of building up right in here along on shore right out here. So just one thing I do want to note here. But right now, we're going to actually move out towards the uh, west here and talk a little bit more about Vince which is located just northwest of Australia here, moving towards it's right around 7 knots. Fairly low pressure reading, not 986 millibars right now, but looking at the satellite picture, it's actually very disorganized at this moment, but a lot of models are picking up on it, gaining this organization, right? And moving off towards the east, but right now it does not look like it's actually going to make landfall along Australia, as it's going to get caught up in some of the west release here, and kind of shift back out towards the uh, west right out like this. So right now, track looks like it's going to basically make a CPA towards Australia, Australia about uh, three to four hundred nautical miles before shifting back out towards the uh, west and if we look at Australia's forecast on this this is just showing there are four panels starting with this morning out until uh, Friday evening. You can kind of see the system gaining all the way up towards a cyclone strength above 64 knots. That's why it's called in here. But then as you note here, if we look out into um, Saturday and the Sunday, it starts to drift back out towards the west. Basically, it's wrapped up and uh, makes that turn around here. And if we look at JTWC's warning, they're really on the same page as the uh, Bureau of Meteorology with the max intensity on the 14th to 12Z before it starts to make that shift back out towards the west here. So um, still have to watch the northwest. West Coast here as they remain inside that cone of air, but right now though it does look like highly unlikely that system will make landfall. Now moving back up to north, uh, from yesterday nothing really has changed too much. We still have this uh, Siberian high continuing the ridge in. By tomorrow into the weekend though, going to be seeing that cold surge affecting much of the islands here as you're going to start seeing very strong winds over the Ryukyu Islands down towards Taiwan. And even right now the gale force winds expected along the uh, east coast of the Philippines here out towards the South China Sea and along the uh, central Philippines still seeing those very strong rain showers throughout the region there as that northeast monsoon continues to set in. Looking at uh, Thailand's uh, in surface analysis, this tells you basically the whole picture of what all I just said. Now, uh, right here, actually, you can see this high pressure starting to ridge out of the Siberia here. Now, this is what I'm talking about, that cold surge. By tomorrow, this is going to start to work its way farther towards the south, increase that gradient-induced winds up in this region all the way down towards the South China Sea. So, right now, you are seeing that tight gradient in that region. That's also what's causing that gale force winds throughout much of the Northeast Philippines here. So, that's another thing I do want to know on that. But as far as tropical weather up towards the north here, not too much going on as the polar front jet continues to dominate all the way down south of Japan here with the West Pack High. Very weak, but continuing to dominate those easterlies as well. So uh, pretty much really a weak convection along these easterlies right now. And the only area of convection in the tropics so far is that stationary front, which is very weak right in this area along the South China and the uh, Philippine Sea. But that is all I got for right now. If you listen to this entire update, thank you very much. A very long one today. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, as usual, you can post into the comment box towards the right on here at westernpacificweather.com, or you can post on YouTube if where you are watching it at. And last, you can email me here at uh, westernpacificweather.com. And also, I do want to note, I'm going to be posting this at storm2k.org. Uh, plenty of meteorology discussion on the storms there as well. Uh, actually, very detailed and uh, scientific discussions on those. So if you want to get more in-depth with these, definitely go there and uh, check that out so uh, if you uh, thank you everybody for listening and uh, please stay safe out there have a good day